Hi, I'm Kathy Hilton. And I'm Kim Richards. And we, we are, are spilling, spilling the E.T. Spilling. Spilling your tea. Spilling. You spilling my tea? I'm gonna spill, I'm your, spill your tea. tea. I'm gonna spill your tea. <laughs> Question. Okay. Number one. <laughs> okay. What is the best part of having me as your big sister? One, I just, I love, I look up to you. Everything that you do, two, you are by far, you are, I'm gonna cry, but you're like my biggest supporter. You're always behind me and always encouraging me. And when I think I can't do something, I know you believe I can. Yep. I love the way we laugh together. I love the way we have fun together. We do. And, uh, I love our relationship. I'm super grateful. I don't think people realize how funny you are. I know, nobody gets it. I'm so funny. What is your most favorite thing about me that you that you admire or and that you don't? I admire your strength no matter what has gone on in your life. And you've been through some really tough times. You really try to look at the glass half full. And I admire that. You always manage to pick yourself up by the bootstrap, put a smile on your face, and and you're not a gossip. That's really nice. Thank you, Kathy. I, I love that. I love you. I don't know if I really want to know the answer to this, but I am curious because recently, I think after the last couple of years being home alone, basically I've never lived by myself, I've learned a lot about myself and I've done a lot of work on me that I don't think I would have done. Removing blockages, I did liquid light therapy, I worked with you know, all kinds of Dr. Joe. I did my, my work on myself, but I still feel like when it came time to leave the house, I was, I, 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 it's like sometimes my feet wouldn't move. I was kind of scared. So I didn't know how, that, how you felt about that because I've never been one to be late. I mean, I've been a little late here and there, but I've been on time my whole I, life. Yeah, that, my would, job. that would be the one thing, I think, the being late thing. Yeah. I mean, I can be 10, 15 minutes late, but... But two hours is a bit much. No, because it's, <laughs> what it is is it's disrespectful it, it of others, other people's time. I did say to somebody one time when I got there and I was two hours late, and I said, I just... They said, I got you're here. You're late. And I said, you know what, you're right, and you have every right to be upset, and I would be mad at me if I were you. But for me right now, I'm just so glad that I made it. Who got into more trouble growing up? Oh, you. You had a, a big problem with bringing home stray animals. And it, <laughs> all the time, it was, it, you can laugh all you want, but you have no idea, poor mom. Do you remember one of the things that we used to do, and you never got caught, but I, I always did? <laughs> what? Do you remember what it was? Picking flowers? Flower napping. Flower napping. Flower napping. <laughs> Loves flowers. <laughs> I still love flowers. You get yours, and then you'd say, go, I don't want to, Kathy, I don't want you. Go now, it's your turn. It's your turn. And I go, and people be having dinner in their window, and I'd be like crawling up, and go, go. And I go, I don't want to, go. Like, okay. And I, get, and I grab up, and I hear, Kimmy Richards, get out of my yard, or I'm calling your mother. But then we had the nerve enough to go and knock on their door and try to sell them to them. <laughs> What would you say is my biggest pet peeve? Oh. E.T. spilling tea, E.T. <laughs> when people get dressed, like, you know, if it's not, you know, you're, you, you have your way of being very casual too, but if it's not the right way, sometimes if we're all dressed up, I think that's a little pet peeve of yours. You'll say you can't wear that like that. You have to tuck this in or something. It's just that one time though, really, when it, I thought the dress was too short for a mini dress for a graduation at a Catholic girls' school. Yes. And it's your daughter graduating. That would, it was. I mean, I love you, so I would tell you. And I'm glad you did. What is something that you have never told anyone? Hmm. I do have something, but I just, um, you know, I will never tell. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I have two secrets. You do? Well, I'm gonna know them by the end of the day. <laughs> You're not getting away with this one. Is the bunny coming? Who do you think spoils their grandchildren more? You or me? <sighs> I think we're both guilty of it. I, I, I definitely, I mean, I'm told when I get there, you didn't bring anything, did you? And I go, no, I, I know. Your mom, no more stuff. I go, okay. I finally looked at Huxley and, and I said to Huxley, like, you, know, you didn't bring anything. And I go, no. And I go like this. And you go, in the bag. You know what I really don't? 
You don't? Nikki and Baron. Paris, it's too early to see with her baby yet. But they don't want like all of this every day's Christmas. And ne I think neither does, right. neither does my, my daughter, neither does Brooke. Anytime I bring them something, they have to give something away. Oh, that's good. I love the relationship you have with your kids. I, I love the relationship I have with mine. I think that we're, I think we got that from mom. I love all your kids. I love all Kyle's kids. I just love them so much. Like I look at them and if anybody's to hurt them, I get like, what? So I feel like it's, uh, that's, that's mom too. Well, that's family. She, no, not all families. Like I think mom really instilled that in us. Yes. And our kids are like sisters and brothers. They're not, mm. those are not like cousins at all. I just think that mom instilled us to be grateful for what we have, grateful for who we are, stick together. After mom passed and somebody said to us, you know, who was the favorite? Who is your mom's favorite? And I didn't want to say anything because well, I knew I was. I am. And you, you did wait. Kyle, what Kyle I was said? well. You said I, I was. And I said, you don't really believe that, do you? And you know what? Kyle I was, think well, I the was. fact that mom had each one of us thinking that we were her favorite is the greatest. Miss her? I do too. I miss dad too. I miss both of them, you know? I wonder and when, when they see us with our grandkids. I know. And I think, now I know why mom loved our kids so That's much. the thing that drives me crazy is that they, that, you know, they miss that. But I don't think they're missing it. I, I hope not. I think they're there. I know, I, I, I feel that way. feel it so strong sometimes and I'm like, whoa. She told me before she passed, give me, I'll be in every room, wherever you are. I thought, oh my, I'm never gonna get a break. Is there any like talents or things that you like to do that, that we don't know about? Like uh, that I maybe haven't gotten to learn yet, maybe that you picked up along the way. Um, so. I'm kind of sometimes thinking about learning to paint. I think you'd be so That'd good. be nice, right? I know you've got a pen somewhere. Yeah. What I'd like you to do is draw you. No, I draw something ah! on the card and don't let me see it. What is that? What is it? It looks like a nude. <laughs> what is it? Well, you only gave me a second. You rushed me. But no, no, it's just supposed to be one thing. Just like well, that's a good thing. An it, apple. It was behind easy. You. Your mirror. Oh my goodness. But look, it does look like okay. We have no. It looks like a nude man. Wow. What is it? Moonbird. Very good. Yes. <laughs> very good. Wow, you're very good. But I love you. I love you. I know you're always there for me, and I'm always here for you. Whatever it is, 